Okay, so this is a quick video um, on how to export your Instagram followers to an Excel Excel list. I tried and, and I saw some different methods on doing this. I just wanted to do an updated video. Um, the YouTube live stream is pretty crappy on the quality sometimes, so I'm just going to do a video standalone and upload it. Anyway, how to export your Instagram followers to an Excel list. So click on, so you need Google Chrome number one. Install Google Chrome. Make sure you're signed into your Instagram account. Click on the new tab. Up here in the corner, there's this extension uh, option. I actually, sorry, before you get to that, type um, in the browser here, type helper tools, helper tools for Instagram and hit enter. And this first link that you see here where it says helper tools for Instagram version two, click on that. Now the weird thing is I've already installed this plugin um, so this is why you, I, I make these kind of videos because it, you know, information can be outdated. So once I installed this plugin, I thought I was good to go. You click on uh, the new tab, click on the little icon looking here, and click on Helper Tools for Instagram. That will launch this. Um, you have to wait for this to pop up. And what you need to do is you need to click on this download again for version 3. I don't understand why version 2... <laughs> Uh, while version 3 rather is not available out there. So anyway, click on this with this AV3 icon and click add extension. Okay, ignore that message. Not important, not important anymore. So now, <coughs> open a new tab again, close all the other tabs. Uh, let's see, export list for followers. Let's click on that one, the one we just plugged, we just uh, installed. He's reading accept the policy. Okay, that's fine. Sign in with Google. Okay, so I need to do this again. Oh, never mind. I'm already signed in. Uh, associate. Okay, so this plugin is trying to associate itself with your Google account. Okay, so in my case. This is my Google account for this video. Now I get the uh, analyze option here. So this is what I didn't get with version two. Seems like a little weird pop up, but this is Google Google plugin, so it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna pick over here on this column over here on this side. Pick only f followers. Okay. Date last update. Date last updated thirty days ago. No. Get to end by choosing max amount of days when the class update. Set that to zero. Let's try that. Then click on get list of users. Okay. Um, so it's analyzing all my user accounts. We don't need detailed information, so hit cancel on that. Um, that should speed it up. Do you want to cancel? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, this is taking a minute. I do want to export this to Excel. I want to pick XLS, XLSX. So if you have a new version of Office, like Office 365, it'll have, it'll say XLSX on the end. If you have an older version of Office, it may it might say XLS. So, but just pick that radio button. Um, intervals between the requests to get user zero. Why is this not canceling? Okay, I'm gonna wait. Is this thing well let me just stop if I can pause the process cancel zoom yeah it's not speeding up columns to be exported ID user ID user profile we want that we don't care about profile pick um, we don't care about the full name per se but apparently you can you can export the different columns of information you want. Okay.
Okay, now we have that. I think it's done. Getting user details. Uh, okay, I don't think it's done. I'm just going to try this. Okay. Um, oh, that was the detailed information. Okay, I don't care about the detailed information. This what this item was. I was confused by that. Okay, so once you click the little uh, radio button here and click export to Excel, you'll get a little pop-up down here. Then we should be able to open this in Excel. And then there we go. So we have a username column, user profile. So this is useful. So if your account gets disabled and you have millions of users, how are you going to get them back, right? So you could, you could in theory, I mean, it would be a lot of work, but you could go through and systematically copy paste each of these URLs and then um, browse to their profile and hit an invite if you got a new um, a new account okay so that's how you do it it's that simple so now you can save this uh, and use it to uh, if you get blocked or if you're you know really large influencer in the uh, in Instagram and your account gets disabled all of a sudden without notification um, at least you could be running this maybe once a week, once a month, depending on how many followers you get, you know, a d per day, per week. But the point is you can now, you have their information in terms of being able to back those user accounts up, those profiles up, so you have that information if your account gets, you know, disabled for some reason. So that's really it. That's the end of this video. How to export your Instagram uh, followers to an Excel list. So check out this plugin. Um, again, when you do the first one, when you do that search, it'll come up to this version two. But that you really need this one here because this version two wants you to upgrade to this this other one that we clicked on here. So just bear that in mind. You have to have this uh, Google Chrome browser. Make sure your Google Chrome browser is up to date. Go ahead and install that plugin run the program, click, click cancel on the details, and then you can check the boxes here on what specific information you want to export um, as different columns for your, for your um, Instagram follower list. All right, that concludes this video. Y'all have a good day. Peace.